We are tracking growing protests across the globe over the death of a young woman in Iran. 22-year-old Masa Amini was arrested last week by the country's morality police, accused of not properly wearing her hijab. She died in custody soon afterwards. Now the United Nations is calling for an investigation into her death. Mia Alberti is a journalist based in Beirut. She's been following this developing situation and joins us now. Uh, Mia, let's talk about how have things in Tehran escalated since the death of Masa Amini last week. Well, John, these are quickly becoming one of the most relevant uh, uh, protests in Iran over the last few years. They started, as you mentioned, over the death of this very young girl, over wearing her hijab allegedly incorrectly. But now they have become this anti-establishment protest where people are just saying enough to these kind of restrictions, uh, not only on women's rights, but uh, human rights in general. So we have uh, reports that three people have been killed so far, uh, according to the government, although uh, official authorities are blaming this on anti-establishment uh, rioters. However, human rights organizations in the country are saying that uh, these people have been killed by security forces and even saying that the, the, the number of deaths could be even higher than that. Uh, so we have a big escalation here, also prompted by a lot of mobilization of Iranians online, both inside of the country and outside of the country as well. Just this morning, there was a warning from the Minister of Communications in Iran saying that Internet outages were possible. Officials saying it's for security reasons, but what might be driving the change? Well, the government has tried many ways to stop these protests in its tracks, but unsuccessfully. It started by uh, allegedly uh, suspending the supervis supervisor in charge of the morality police, that one, uh, that was the, the one force that, ar that arrested uh, the woman that was later killed. But that did not appease protesters. They only grew stronger ever since. So this is an attempt to try and curtail this movement that is really growing online, both in Iran and outside of Iran over the last few years. Protests over the mandatory use of hijab have been uh, widespread online. Uh, but as I said, these have grown into so much more than that, into uh, protests that at this moment uh, are threatening the stability of the Iranian regime, urging the UN to intervene as well. So there are concerns that these could just lead into more violence, into more deaths. But also uh, some experts are saying that this could lead uh, to a lot of questioning of the Iranian regime and a lot of international pressure. So this attempt to try and uh, curtail these uh, social movements online is just an attempt to try uh, to stop people from sharing what's going on online. There's a, a picture that has since become very iconic of these protests of a woman on top of a car uh, burning her headscarf, and that has quickly become uh, widely shared on social media and a symbol of these protests and what these people are fighting for. Mia, thanks for this. Mia Alberti joining us this morning from Beirut.